This feels so weird because I'm used to, you're used to having something else on the plate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is the part where I'm like, okay, hang in there. Welcome back to American Tradition, a journey of breaking carb addiction. Last week, we cleaned out the cupboards, and today we restock Michelle's pantry with high-fat healthiness. I learned so much that day. I actually bought some food for the first time in my entire life, like spam and sardines. I love it. Yes, the keto menu will challenge your palate. You have to learn to like some of these foods by first putting them on your taste buds. Introduce them. We bought several tasty, high-fat, low carb foods that day. Watch all the way to the end of the episode to see what other crazy foods I selected for Michelle's unsuspecting taste buds. Well, I think that's big, breaking the cycle. That's what you're doing. That was that moment that I said, that's what addiction looks like. To be able to just to say, okay, it's in his diet and we may not even need to visit for medicine. That was huge. Welcome to the uh, small, town grocery store if you don't have a grocery store in your small town it dies <laughs> kind of like if you don't have a church or a post office is a sign you're gonna die <laughs> okay so let's go through the do nots okay this would be this aisle oh yeah <laughs> the aisle Jace found yesterday right isn't it amazing and, and uh, it's not an accident that look at the height mm -hmm. that those beautiful colors and those unbelievable carbs are at right yep okay so if I look at the other things that we're gonna put in your house, mm -hmm. it's that you got a kid that needs a little help with um, adding the flavors that are comfortable to him. Mm -hmm. So let's just make sure we've got plenty of um, uh, that spice for the kids to mix with their sour cream. Okay, here is uh, trap number 950. Grab a mayonnaise jar. First of all, what's your serving size? Is how many grams? One tablespoon or 15 okay. grams. So mine says one tablespoon, 13 grams. So wow. This is the little trick people play. So it's pretty comparable, but yours is a little higher serving size than mine. Yeah. What's the total fat in yours? It's low, it's 3.5. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you know you're gonna. there's a problem. My total fat is 10. Okay. So are there any trans fats in yours? No. Yeah, they have rules now against trans fats, but the mayonnaise is used to be filled with them. But most importantly, what's your carbs? Two. Yeah, two carbs in there, right? Mm -hmm. And so if that's in every tablespoon, you got- You're adding that pretty quick. I don't know if you've seen me dip stuff into mayonnaise, but I could put a, you know, five tablespoons in my mouth, no problem. And there's you know, my 20 carbs. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do this one. Okay. So let's do, um, oh, my favorite. Ta-da. This is the cornerstone of every gas stop in South Dakota. <laughs> Maybe not, but it's close. All right, so Braunschweiger is German for liver sausage. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, to, to be fair, I like to point out that there are plenty of grams of fat, 15 grams of fat, but there are three carbs in there too. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, I don't care. I still like the taste. The ingredients is liver, liver sausage, sausage, period. If you're trying to introduce the taste though, I've just found this is really good. Okay, so grab that Parmesan and then I'll grab a shredded cheese that's mozzarella. Here we go. Okay, so if I look, we've got shredded cheese and you can almost, if you look at the sides of the packages, you can, all, if you pull it up, you can see there's a dusting. If you've mm -hmm. ever felt the inside of it, you can feel the, uh, it's yeah, the it's, powder. Yeah, it's a powdery right. type. And nobody cares because it comes out of the bag lovely. It flowed into the together, bag, right? <laughs> That's beautiful. But when you go to the ingredients, we you know salt, enzymes, then there's it is, potato starch. Guess what potatoes have in them? <laughs> Lots of carbs. carbs. Right, yeah. Like what number is the potato starch on your- I don't have potato? it actually, ironically. Oh. In, but no, this is Parmesan cheese. Oh, it's Parmesan. See, Parmesan mm -hmm. is a hard cheese. Yes. So that's why it shouldn't have to have the coating. Yeah. Okay, so you want Parmesan cheese? That one actually qualifies. Okay, okay that'll work. Good. Do they have uh, the cheese in a wax, waxy cheese? I don't see it. I don't see it. Mm -mm. So that's on our list, but we're gonna do the next best thing to waxy cheese is we're gonna look at blocks of cheese. You like smoked cheddar? I do. Okay, perfect. So let's compare that now as we look at this. How many grams are in your serving? Uh, one ounce, 28 grams. Okay, good, I got 28 grams too. So when that's the interesting thing. You can't play the game as much when you have a solid substance. Mm -hmm. So you get the mayonnaise, it's not solid and you can play games with the ounces and stuff, ah. okay? Uh, ounces to weight and tablespoons to weight. Okay, so then how many grams of fat are in your? Nine. I got nine too. Right, that's a very common number for the 
a block of cheese, right? Mm -hmm. And then getting all the way down to, do you have carbs in yours? I do have one. Okay, this one has zero. And so again, when you look at hardness, I don't think of uh, you know cheddar cheese as that hard, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it is in the processing. Did they how fatty of a substance did they start with? And that's where you get pasteurized milk, and then cheese, cheese culture, salt, enzymes. Yeah, and then color was that okay? Mine, mine had a little enzymes, but it didn't. Ha it had a smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. But, but that's, that's what a cheese should look like. None of that extra powdery and glucose and stuff. So, all right. We can do that. We don't have the we don't have the cheese that's wrapped in wax, so we're going to substitute with the cheeses we've got. Okay. Okay. So in the world of onions, um, which I would buy all three, honestly, mm -hmm. this is what you're going to do to make flavor this week, okay. and so I would just be putting onions in your favorite vegetable. Now. Okay. <laughs> Turn it into the Grinch. <laughs> so there's some meat sticks behind you. Mm -hmm. So grab those meat sticks and let's which see. Which ones? Uh, These right here. See what that is. Yeah. And I, I think if you look at the ones deeper in the fridge, let's see what that is. I don't know. Okay, so this is a local guy who's making his meat and he is putting it in a package and selling it as a local grocery store. I kind of like this guy already. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the part that makes me nervous is the word barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> because many times, although barbecue is supposed to, it's supposed to mean you cook it on a, you know, it's got real flames cooking it. Mm -hmm. What it's turned into is it means there's brown sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so what's your first ingredient? Beef. Mine's beef, pork, pork and then water. water. Sugar. Well, those are good. So when you put the first four ingredients in their, their meat and water, mm -hmm. you got three of them at least, that's pretty good. But it's that next one that gets the me nervous. The next one is short. sugar. Yeah, sugar. Okay, mm -hmm. different salts and spices, that's fine. Dextrose. Uh, dextrose is in there too, huh? Uh -huh. Okay. It's just a, it's a cheaper sugar, that's why I'm sure they do it. And cornstarch. Um, and cornstarch. You know what I would do in this case is we know that your son's gonna have some troubles in the next week. Yeah. I call it failing upwards. At least you stepped in the right direction with less harm to other people. And so um, this isn't perfect, but in the world of helping Jace in the next week as he transitions from what I think is pretty high sugar, uh, this might be a great little, don't tell him there's sugar in it, just okay, say no. it's for you. Oh, we wouldn't want to pass up oh. what's here. Okay, now we got some talking to do. <laughs> Okay, mm. so this would be uh, one of my favorite sections. It is so underappreciated. <laughs> have you ever eaten them? No. Oh, no. I can't wait. Okay, Here, let's have you look at one, I'll look at one. Uh, we're gonna go, you get the water one, I get mine in oil. I have sardines. I have sardines, sardines, water and salt. See, I have sardines, oil and salt. Would you like to try the oil and the non-oil? The oil and the water? <laughs> Neither. So here's the way I would help you sort it. Okay. When you eat tuna, mm -hmm. what do you put with your tuna? Um, mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard, and usually dill pickles. Right. So the taste of sardines, if you were blinded, it's like tuna without the bitterness. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's just they have a really bad marketing team. Mm. So uh, if you want the ones without any extra, I'd just do that one. Okay, that's just a plain, we can make it taste like you want. Okay. Um, we'll start with that. <laughs> Sounds good. Now I think there's spam around here too then. Um, on up here just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah. Here's so they have low sodium. Yeah, isn't that interesting? I, I accidentally bought that once. I just added salt. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. What people fall off is they're so afraid of the salt. Well, with high blood pressure, is okay. salt an issue? You know, the salt is part of the equation for how your blood pressure meds work. And so the, the, the difference between when I'm buying groceries worrying about salt, what we want is we want to use your kidneys. Mm -hmm. And your kidneys have the process of salt that they are charged with doing. You can't stop them from doing it. If you eat more salt, you retain it when your body's not working right. When your body works right, you can't eat too much salt. You just, I mean, you can, but you, you really take a lot. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, let's look at our spam together. Okay. Okay, because this is actually something worth not telling your son what it is and frying it up. So how many carbs you got in yours? One. One, yeah. And are, would you have the same grams? I got 56 grams in mine. Same. Okay. And then, um, so probably if yours is just the low sodium can and mine's the regular sodium can, I have total fat would be 16. Same here. And then I have the one gram of carbs and for ingredients. Pork and ham. Pork and ham. Yeah. They got any beef Chicken, in Chicken, water, salt. Okay, I, th I was gonna say, I think there's another. Oh, modified potato starch, yep, sugar, so. sodium, phosphate. That's where the, and they're the last few. So that's where the sugar comes from though, one mm -hmm. gram. So but for the, if you have, how many servings in here? Six. Six servings, so six carbs in this whole thing. Okay. Yeah, so 
There's another way to make your eggs taste different. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah fry it up, throw it in there. Okay. okay. This uh, tomato paste, if you're gonna do any um, ground hamburger uh, to make into like a taco seasoning, mm -hmm. that's a good trick. I would put a couple of tomato paste, and what you just use them for is when you're trying to add the tomato flavor, mm -hmm. you have the broth, the bone broth that you put with it, so that's your moist. Okay. And then this is your flavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two or three? So that, yeah, yeah, and then if you grab a thing of Sloppy Joe's over there. I just like butter and beef, but the kids really do like Kids the, like this kind of stuff. taco-y stuff. But now this Sloppy Joe mix. What's in it? Sugar is the first one. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh -uh. Those naughty people. Okay, well, it asks for Dijon mustard, and then garlic spices, paprika, green peppers. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna make our own. Can do that. Yeah. Wonder what. Oh, let's look at this. So, what does that look like? queso. So, we've got oh. how many carbs? Four. Four mm -hmm. in two tablespoons. So, mm -hmm. not terrible. So, if you think he'd eat cheese sauce? Oh, yeah. Okay. He would eat cheese sauce. This is mild. Mild. And that's got, it's got three in it. Okay. So, so better. Let's try. Yeah. See if we can get him to eat it. Oh, here's the nuts behind us. Okay, so let's just cut the chase and tell you that peanuts, even though they made the list, they are a lentil. They're more like a bean than a nut. That um, would be why they're higher in carbs, carbs. than some mm -hmm. other nuts. Right. Okay. And so. you have to be careful, I found out with the dry roasted, because that's got a it's got a coating on it that makes it um, sweeter. Yes. And they have carb they have even more carbs in them. They are so that's why I say, you know, don't, don't, they have fiber in them. And so then they start playing the game with, but I net took carbs. away yeah. <laughs> the net carb and I'm like, stop doing that game. Okay. So here we got butter. Ta-da. Let's just take a closer look at their butters too. Cause like everything. So just to go to ingredients, see what is in your ingredients. Cream, natural flavorings. Oh, beautiful. Ta-da. Those ones, butter. Butter saves well. Heavy whipping cream and sour cream. I would be abundant on these because okay. what you're trying to do is find flavors that fit. We're going to do this sour cream and this sour cream. Okay. Whole milk. And then how's the whipping cream? Ta-da. Ta-da. This feels so weird because I'm used to, you're used to having not just a, a meat and a fat source, but like at least a, something else on the plate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is the part where I'm like, okay, hang in there. <laughs> and I've learned to put a little bowl of their sauce on the plate so it looks better. So it looks fuller. <laughs> That's a good idea. Because it's a trick. You're just, it's a brain game. You'll be full. He wasn't hungry for that. I can't believe he ate it. Yeah. I'm still yeah. soggy for 45 minute cereal. Mm -hmm. And it's the last one in the house is the other part that he knew because mm -hmm. he poured it. Okay, so over here looks like we have pepperoni. These little guys are actually good snacks. How many grams you got? Well, let me check it. 28. Okay, I got 30, so it's about the same. Mm -hmm. I got 14 grams of fat. 13. Similar, okay. And I've got zero carbs. Same here, zero carbs. Okay, let's throw both of those in because they'll get eaten. Okay. That's a win. We got a bag full of groceries. But what, what do you notice most about this box versus your normal grocery shopping? Um, no lemons, no limes. <laughs> No fruit, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries are usually our norm. Um, yeah, every week. And then no veggies, mm -hmm. no lettuce, no, no green. Right. Yeah. The greens are different. gone. Yeah. yeah. And again, the transition, we want the, the best success is to get you on the right side of chemistry. We'll, uh, that's part brain, mm -hmm. part chemistry, and part access to choices. So. Let's check out. Okay. Hello. Hi. How do you guys do this here? Uh, yeah, anyway, however you want to do it. However you want? Okay, I'll help you out. Load it up. Okay, here we go. Let's restock. So, we have... <clears throat> oh, a butter. Life without butter doesn't exist. Okay, mm -hmm. and then we've got some meat from our local farmers. We've got a ring bologna, we have hard salami, and we'll put that up here where we know people will snack on it. Here's some bacon. And then the bacon, don't forget the bacon. Yeah. Bacon is a star people for a your diet. All right, you have the fridge ready to go. Yep. You're set for success, girl. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, you are all set up and ready to go. Our next episode recaps your first week. I'm glad that week is over. I don't want to do that again. 
If you know someone starting the keto diet, you should share this episode with them.